Hi Virgo, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Virgo with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so when I was meditating off camera for you, what I got for you was like a grid or like tic-tac-toe or bingo or um, what was connect the dots or uh, connect four. It's like something like passing time or trying to pass the time here. And then there was like boredom and it was like a blow up. It was like being done with maybe waiting or, pa you know, passing time, uh, maybe playing, playing games. Somebody is tired of somebody playing games. Mm. Let's see what's going on for Virgo here. What's happening for my Virgos? What is... Oh, okay. Yeah, could be dealing with a Libra. Justice coming out as the first card. You want somebody to do the right thing. Make the right choice. Um, repay you. Repay you, maybe even your money or just your time, your energy. You showed up for them. You showed up genuine for them. Why can't they show up genuine for you? Why can't they do the right thing? Make something official. Take something to court pay the money i don't know this could be something to do with court money child support alimony you want somebody to decide to do the right thing stop treating you unfair or unjust do the right thing karma also let's see what else yeah the fool card um maybe do the right thing in regards to a child or young energy or younger energy um, you want somebody to move or move away from. You want somebody to disappear or you want to disappear or you want to travel. I mean, you may even feel tied to a certain energy um, because of maybe money. You know, they may be, someone could be looking towards you or looking to you for the money or for money. You want to follow your dream. You want to move. You want to make moves. You want to do your own thing. You're tied to something. You're the only one that is giving. You're the only one that cares. What is this about? Yeah, Ace of Pentacle. You're the only one that's giving money. You're the only one who's foundational. Um, somebody promises you the world. They promise you that they're going to do right. Um, but all they do is play childish or foolish games. You feel like they're the one. But then, you know, you don't know where the relationship is going. It's without promise. It, it could be that you guys hook up. There is sexual encounter, but there's no progression. Nothing ever changes or progresses into, uh, you know, marriage or, yeah, Ace of Wands. It's a lot of hooking up, a lot of promise, no progression. New starts, no progression. This person leave you in your mind, the Hierophant here. There's no law, there's no order. There's no traditionalism in terms of how you guys deal with one another. If somebody makes their own law, their own order. Somebody gets you to fall in love with them, but then they do not. Somebody is not abiding by, you know, being married. Somebody could be married. The, the magician in reverse. Somebody, either you, Virgo, or the other person can't manifest what they want from a particular person. Somebody is telling outright lies also in this marriage. Just lying, just lying, lying, lying. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. You guys always start over, but then nothing progresses into, oh, this is a changed human being. This is a changed person. You could be dealing with a Taurus. This person is lying. They're still keeping up, you know, other options or they're still acting young or doing something. They two of Pentacles. Nothing never changes. This person just cannot change. With the magician in, in reverse, they say they're gonna change, but there is no change. The yeah, Knight of Wands, they go off, they go off and do their own thing. They think that they're handsome or beautiful, uh, attractive, funny, charismatic, outgoing. They could be an entrepreneur. They just go and charm other people, or they charm you. But then there is no, um, again, there's no real manifestation of change here. 
they also could just need to grow up because the knights are under the direction of the higher fan. The, the, your person also could be listening to younger uh, friends or single friends or has single friends, five of pentacles. You have no confidence in this moving forward anymore. And somebody is ignoring you or you're ignoring them or not acknowledging you. You just feel used again. When someone's giving you very little, they're not giving you all the money that they owe you or all the time or there's no repayment or you don't feel like this relationship can ever get out of the dumps. Uh, usury. Let's see. The two of swords could be dealing with uh, Libra. You feel like somebody's of two minds, indecisive, hot and cold. There's a power struggle. There's no giving in. This person won't compromise. Somebody standing on this square. I mean, there's potential to have a great relationship here, but both parties have to be invested. Yeah, nine and one, somebody's not invested. When it gets close or when it gets intimate, somebody withdraws or they draw away or they don't let it get too close or they don't want to be too close to being in a committed relationship. They don't want um, things to be intimate, okay, vulnerable. They want it to be kind of, this is somebody who wants to be on their own non-committal they want to have relation but want to be on their own this is somebody who's in a relationship but acts single could be dealing with a sagittarius yeah page of cups the kids keep you guys together or there's a need to be more romantic if somebody comes with the romance but the nine of swords they also then you know um they bring a lot of headache to you uh, sleepless and restless night somebody does something at night leaves at night or is gone at night gone all night somebody could have another sexual partner they find fun all by themselves somebody is just really more so about themselves they think there's some like God God's gift to they think they're a God you're spying on them and they're spying on you could be looking at the tarot there's little to no communication because it turns into argument there's immature activity maybe between a husband again this person the words that they speak is it's deceptive it's deception they're also hiding something but this could even be hiding another woman This is somebody who really wants to be alone, but they like having relations, but they really want to be like a bachelor or a bachelorette. This is not somebody who wants to be in a committed relationship or they get out in the world and they act single. What what advice do we have for Virgo? Advice for Virgo. Mature man, you're dealing with an older man. He could be going bald or gray or has gray hair. Um, he's got a lot of experience. He could have already been married before or is married past life. Maybe you had a past life relationship with him. Or this was, you guys had a relationship in the past and then you try to rekindle. There's a lot of gossip surrounding this person, you and this person. This also is somebody who's all talk, no action. There could be a friends with benefits relationship that um, somebody's keeping up or they're trying to keep this up with you. Children could be involved. Um, you can have children with this person. They want you to be like the friends with benefits, even though you have children, a baby mama that they can run back to and have sex to sometimes. True gems. Expect the unexpected from the least expected person, a surprise, a gift, engagement. I don't know. Or this is what somebody is expecting. What is this true gem? Karma and money. Somebody is like, you owe me. You owe me something valuable. You need to give me something valuable. Either money or you need to give me a ring. Somebody thinks that they can pacify with gifts without doing the work. And they want to keep the relationship open. And again, I can't make it up. There's that other woman hidden in the background. Somebody is old, but they be running around acting like they're young. They got a sports car, a nice car. They have this or that. This is what I have for you, Virgo. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website and book your own reading there. Ask a question or 10 by texting your question to the number below. You can also catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night. Readings are on sale 50 
percent off use code 50 off at uh, checkout thank you many blessings to you take care